Well, welcome to today's program. Uh, we're visiting with Sean Clancy. He's the general manager of the Sheraton San Diego Hotel and Marina, obviously in San Diego. So welcome, Sean, to the program. Thank you, Jeff. Great to see you. Hey, I don't know how close this is to you, but I was born in Escondido, California. Okay, we're about, we're about 25 miles away by the uh, marina here on Harbor Island in San Diego. All right. I don't remember that event, me being born, but my mom says that's where I'm from. <laughs> so. I'm sure she remembers it. She does, yeah. So San Diego, I mean, the weather has got to be pretty nice all the time. That's why you have so many people that live there or want to move there. Ideal weather, great place for tourism, and uh, as you're probably aware, that's a big part of our economy here in San Diego County. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, your area where your hotel is must be beautiful. You're, you, the, the name Marina means you're on the water. Yeah, we've got a really stunning waterfront village here at the uh, property. It's a, it's a massive complex. We're 1,053 rooms, 95,000 square feet of meeting space uh, here at the property. But we're also on 26 acres, so there's a lot of exterior uh, areas to explore. Yeah, which is probably good during the pandemic, having some outside activities. and For sure. It's great to have outdoor spaces. Obviously, our pools are activated. We've got an outdoor restaurant that we've been using as well. Yeah. Well, I'm jealous because I haven't been anywhere in a few months. Maybe one day I'll make it there. Please do. Please come visit. Yeah. Uh, that, that sounds cool. But good to talk to you today. And uh, tell us about during the pandemic. Did you guys have to shut down for a period of time or slow down? Or Yeah, we did. We actually, we shut down for about three, uh, three months. And that was the opportunity for us where we uh, engaged the uh, GBAC STAR program and decided to go through that certification criteria we just wanted to make sure that when we reopened for our guests and for our employees, we were providing a really healthy environment, that our sanitation standards were very strong. So we were happy to be able to go through that process while we were closed. And then we've just recently reopened this week. Oh, this week. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Thank in you. fact, I've talked to other accredited facilities, uh, GBAC star accredited facilities, and you're the first hotel I've talked to. Okay. Well, we are honored to be the uh, first hotel or resort on the GBAC Star program. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really cool that you're open again. So let's talk about, about this and what it means for you. Uh, I think you alluded to it in, already, but, but what was it that really brought you to the GBAC Star accreditation program? Was there something that, that you, you saw and you just knew you had to do? Yeah, we, we really wanted to be able to demonstrate to all of our stakeholders, our, our guests, our employees, the partners of the Sheraton San Diego, that we really had best in class sanitation and cleanliness programs in place. We liked the rigor of the program that your team had outlined. And uh, we were happy to go through the process, the risk assessment. I think there were a lot of learnings through that process for us. So yeah, we're, we're very grateful for the work that we've done with GVAC Star so far. Yeah, although I have not gone through the 20 elements like you have done. I've, I've looked at them and talked to, to folks about them. So definitely a rigorous process, you know, but if it's worth doing, you got to put some work into it. I think that's what you saw. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so for your staff and for your guests, what does this mean for them? Well, you know, one, one of the things that we've been uh, saying a lot here at the, at the property is, is cleanliness is the new luxury in um, hospitality. And so we've got to make sure that it's clean and that it's done right the first time. So I think the thing that it really brings back for the guests and for our employees is having a high level of trust. They can trust that we've gone through a process to make sure that we've eliminated those uh, factors that might not be as clean or as well sanitized as they should be and that we've really studied the program, the property and taken a step back to learn as much as we can to make sure that we've created a healthy environment for everyone. Let's, let's dig into something that might have been a challenge for you. What was the most difficult part? Of yeah, the there, were, uh, there, were, there were several challenges uh, along the way. I would say that uh, as we went through and really took a look at the risk assessment that GBAC Star provided us, it made us take a look at 
what are our inventory for everything? Inventory for uh, chemicals, inventory for personal protective equipment, making sure that everyone on the team had the right tools to do their job, looking at storage locations of those tools and equipment to make sure that there's easy access for our employees. So the risk assessment was really a key to us to take a step back, learn a little bit more about ourselves, and now we've been able to apply that to the work here at the property. Yeah, I'm sure your workers there appreciate having a system to follow and some guidance with that. I, yes, I think they do. Yeah, I would for sure. Uh, tell us this, what, will, what are you going to do differently moving forward because of GBAC star accreditation? Is there something that stands out as, yeah, we now implemented this and we like it, we're going to do it? Yeah, uh, one thing that really stands out as a point of differentiation is how we've treated our safety committee at the hotel in the past. You know, the safety committee has primarily in the past been concerned with injuries, with uh, making sure that we are um, uh, reducing the frequency and severity of the number of injuries that we've had in the property. We're now using our safety committee to make sure that they are looking at cleanliness and sanitation protocols, that they're inspecting what they expect, from a cleanliness standpoint to make sure that we've got first class cleanliness throughout the property. So that's a big uh, uh, point of differentiation from past practice to current practice. That is great information. I know that safety typically is just don't fall or get hurt. And you've expanded <laughs> that. That's right, that's yeah, right. You've expanded that, nice, nice. All right, one final question. For other hotels or hospitality locations looking at GBAC star accreditation, what would you tell them? I would, I would tell them that, first of all, I think it's very worthwhile. Um, you'll be happy to know, Jeff, that on your team that your program director was available to us at all times uh, via Zoom. Your hospitality uh, lead supported us as we went through the 20 different curriculum involved in getting the, the certification. I would tell my colleagues in the hotel industry to dedicate a good amount of time to it and to bring as many of your leaders into the process as possible so that everyone can benefit from the learning that they'll have from the program. Yeah, we do have a good good team at ICA and GBAC, as you do, I'm sure, at the Sheraton there in San Diego. Thank you very much.